5 o'clock in the morning right now. I need to record this while I'm thinking about it. Our white lab, Daisy, is almost 15 years old. I think she just had another stroke. I had to clean up after her this morning and uh, love that dog. But the whole earth right now, the whole world, is groaning for the Creator. It just is. You know, we live on a fallen planet. We, we have good times. Life is a blessing. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'd, I'd do it all over again for the blessings and the good times, you know, despite everything. But this world is groaning right now for the Creator, for God. We look at our southern border and, uh, you know, trying to keep the influx of millions of, of people who, whose lives... They wouldn't be coming here if their lives were um, worth living or, or, you know, tolerable or good at all. They wouldn't be coming here. But to try to hold that border closed to the influx of millions of people is not a narrow view. I don't have a narrow view. They're coming here because we have the promise of opportunity and money. Yet if we open that border wide open, within a matter of years we won't have. We'll be set up with social programs to try to help people as, you know, the government. We, we, we don't have that money. The reason we have that money is because of the system that we have in place in America, a capitalist society. And we have helped many, many people, many nations. That would all go away. And then, and then you think, well, the, the whole world needs to come together as one. And the social programs take care of... That would work if people weren't involved. It would work in this country if people weren't involved. But they are. And there's always, always going to be somebody at the top. There is somebody at the top right now. Um, the owners of the central banks, many of them. I'm not going to name names, and I'm not going into that. Let me just say this. The only other thing, the only thing that will work on this planet is the kingdom of God. Even the way it was set up in the, old, in the uh, New Testament, right after Christ, all the, the disciples, apostles, the Christians, they set it up to where everybody, nobody was lacking. Everybody had all things in common. They did what they could, uh, the men, the women, workers, taking care of, cooking, the things, but nobody was lacking. They had all things in common. And they took care of each other. That's not going to happen on this planet, especially not globally. It isn't going to happen. Not until Christ's return. Not until we set up he sets up his kingdom on this planet. But, you know, I look at, at the people coming from Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Mexico, the children, you know, how much, how, how bad must it be for the parents to send their children knowing they may never see them again? And then, of course, the influx of gang members that come across the border. They're going to take advantage of of this and have and do and will and are and because it's people. We're people. We're going to get the good with the bad in everything. And this whole and not just people. This whole planet. My my poor white lab. I think she had a stroke again. I think she's going to pass away. She's going to die. That's the way it is right now. We live in a fallen world on a fallen planet. And more and more things are groaning for God, the Creator, to come and restore, which will happen. It's going to happen. I know it in my spirit. I know it in my heart. I, I know it from the Bible, but I just know it. But it's not going to happen with social programs. If we open this country up and let everybody come, we won't have a country. We will be Honduras, period. That's just the way it is. Look around much of California. Look at the tent cities everywhere. Look at the tent cities on the border 
uh, on the uh, southern border in Mexico. It's harsh. And the United States open borders, free money, is that's not the answer. That won't last, it won't work. And nobody expects it to be. Even the ones letting them flood across the border. It's for nefarious purposes to reset the global economy, a last ditch effort, but I'm not getting, I'm not, that's not my point. My point is this whole world is groaning for the creator, including me, and probably you. Most Christians I know feel it. Most people feel there's something different. Uh, the the warfare in the heavens above us has increased exponentially. If you don't know it or feel it, then you don't want to. Or you don't know what it is. But there's coming a day I don't have the answer for all the people at our border. God does. I don't have the answer for all the poor people in this country. God does. I don't have the answer for the division that the entities are causing between races in this country and sexes in this country. And every place a division can be made. That's all the spiritual warfare exponentially increasing that I was just talking about. It's all spiritual. We're groaning as a people, as an earth as mankind and you see even right there there are those that have been encouraged to say and take offense that I use the word mankind you know we're getting there that also is spiritual any division any hatred any fighting any bickering is spiritual but then again so is helping your neighbor so is giving food to a hungry person. So is showing love to somebody who is so spun, they don't know where they're at. Yeah, that's spiritual. We're spiritual beings on a spiritual planet, and it's winding fast right now, this planet. Yeah, hang on, know who God is. If you don't know Jesus, get to know him. Find someone who does. Find out what he did, what he said, what he told us was coming, what he told us who we are. The thing at our border, I don't have a narrow view. I don't. My view is pretty wide. I know what would happen even to the countries they're leaving from. Many of the people are coming here because they are wanting to work. They're of age to work. So that means that El Salvador just lost all their workers and they're barely holding on. Yeah, there's a lot to it. It's more than mainstream media portrays it to be. There are those at the southern border that do not want the dude to do. There are those that are allowing the southern. Mainstream media, that's all you're going to get. Let me just tell you this right now. This world is groaning for the Creator, and Christians, the Creator dwells, the Spirit of the Creator, the Spirit of God dwells in you. That's as good as we get. That's, that's as much as I have to offer. That's as much as anybody has to offer. Offer it. Who knows, we may be here another thousand years. I don't think so. Come, Lord Jesus. Until then, enjoy the day. Don't hate your neighbor. Conservatives don't hate liberals. Liberals don't hate conservatives. We're all people on a fallen planet. Even the animals. Everything's going to die <laughs> on this planet. It's the way it is. So... I don't know, just watch my dog, took care of my, my little white lab. I'm not sure, I might have to have her put down. I got to thinking about everything on this planet. 
and you know the mess going on at our border and inside this country and and crooked people crooked people are usually surrounded by crooked entities that's just the way it is you don't have to take my word for it i you know i know what i know i know what i've seen i'm just trying to encourage you to understand that everything happening is spiritual and I'm trying to encourage Christians to understand and realize that what you have is prayer the Word of God and his spirit in you for this planet for mankind I'm gonna have a good day today and I'm not going to want people crossing our border illegally. We won't have anything to offer the places where they just came from. In nothing flat, we'll be broke. We already are. It doesn't matter. God bless your day. Seriously, talk to God. Help somebody. And have a good day.